think precautionary right now. Um, you know, Matt, um, bruised knee, um, both, both guys will go through the concussion protocol. Um, you know, obviously, anytime you see a collision like that, there is there's a level of concern when there's blood on the field. There's a little more level of concern. Um, you know, Matt walked off uh, by himself, seemed to, to progress um, in the clubhouse and in the training room as, as time went. So um, we'll, we'll know more tomorrow um, with Joe. Uh, you know, obviously, anytime you you have blood on the field, there's there's a definite higher level of concern, and, and in the you know face, nose, lip. Uh, but you know, we're obviously we'll take all the steps to to make sure uh, we know exactly what's going on with with both with both guys. One of the things that has made you guys so effective during this home scene has been the ability to maximize opportunities, mm -hmm. not able to do that today. Was there anything different that you saw or any reason you weren't able to do that? To well, you? I, you know, I felt like Gonzalez made some pitches in, in, in situations. The thing is that I, there were no productive outs today. That, that's where uh, we really uh, we were getting – base hits in those situations, but we were also getting productive outs. We had uh, bases loaded twice and came away with no runs scored, uh, those type of situations. You watch baseball and uh, sit over there and you go two innings with bases loaded and come away with nothing. It's the law of averages are the, uh, you know, not, not going to be good for you the next inning. Um, and it played out that way. Um, so uh, just felt like that there was – Combination of both, uh, some good pitches, and probably a, uh, a little anxious down at the bottom part of the lineup. Uh, first pitch and play pop up, and I think it was second or third pitch and in, in play uh, pop up. So, uh, in in an area where you know two guys that obviously uh, extra players who who have in those type of situations have been extremely patient. You know, you get in these type of situations, uh, the, the the level of energy raises, and so. Um, you know, learning learning moment for for two guys. But uh, look, it's it's really the the entire offense all day long. You, know, you feel good about the number of base runners we had. Uh, however, not not getting runs across the plate until late. Uh, you know, those games don't, don't don't typically work out very well for you. What effect, if any, does a split have on your chances right now as you chase the teams ahead of you in the wild card race? Well, look, it's uh, I got I look at it this way, and you know, we, we had an extremely productive homestand. Um, I think we're in a much better spot than than we were when we started the homestand. So, we gained ground. Um, how what effect it has on our chances? We're, we I believe that um, I don't know what the outcome of everybody else is today. I know what our our outcome is. We didn't win a baseball game, so there's no way we gained ground. What else? What, can you take us to the decision to pinch hit for Delino? What factored into that? Well, look, I mean, left on right matchup with uh, with Chu, uh, the on base, uh, the power. Um, you know, those are, those are the, the, the biggest factors. So, just curious. In the third, I think it was you let. Gave Joey the green light on three zero. Have you done that often this year? Yeah, we've given him uh, the, the green light a number of times. Is that a three -0. sign of his advancement as a hitter? What he's been able to do? <clears throat> well, I, I, we gave him green light early in the season. He hit one out of the ballpark. So, um, you know, we get a, get that big man a free swing at a fastball. We'll, we'll let that happen. When you guys went out after the collision, I know you guys were very concerned about Gal, obviously because of the scene. But did, did Bush kind of just? <clears throat> we had we had we were checking on both guys. Uh, look, I, the, the the immediate um, reaction you got a you got a player on the field face down, blood coming out of his face. That's the number one priority. I had checked on Bush. We could tell that uh, just it wasn't just right. Uh, once we got Gallo off off the field, called for the next trainer for Matt Lucero so that we could get him out there to check 
uh, Bush at that time to make sure that he was okay, to assess him, see where, where, if any, there was any damage and whether or not we were going to need to take him out of the game.